What's up, everybody? Good evening. Stephen A. Smith here, live on Facebook. Just finished watching Power. Look, y'all, we all know I love my General Hospital. I really, really, really love my General Hospital. It's my soap opera. Even though I'm friends with Eric Braden for Young and the Restless, a.k.a. Victor Newman, I love my General Hospital. Do not get me wrong. But when it comes to nighttime shows, power is it. I thought last week's episode was off the chain enough. Tonight was special as well, for albeit for different reasons. I ain't going to tell y'all. Y'all need to watch it. Power got a page on Facebook. I'm sure they got Twitter followers as well. Y'all all need to check it out. Amari Harwick is the real deal. Tremendous actor. Joseph Sakura, tremendous actor. 50 Cent behind the scenes with the rest of the producers, executive producing this joint with about two others. He's doing an outstanding job. I got to give love and credit where credit is due and show love to power because the show is all that and a bag of chips. Let me get that out the way right now. Let me get that out the way right now. Then, here's the deal. I was in Kansas City last week. And by the way, somebody, some idiot was just teasing me about my hairline. I'm almost 50. I'm over it. And by the way, I don't think I look too damn bad anyway. Ain't nobody complaining that really matters. So, step off. Back to some sports matters. You know, I was in Kansas City Saturday night. I had to give a speech there. And I took some time. The people were kind enough to take me to um, the Negro League Museum honoring some of the greats from the Negro League days, and telling me a whole bunch of stories. Somebody just told me I look high. My brother, I don't smoke. I don't smoke weed, nor do I smoke cigarettes, cocaine, heroin. I'm clean, bro. Just a little tired. That's all. I got a family. I'm a responsible man. Not that I did that before I had a family. Since I got a family, now you know damn well I'm going to do what I got to do to take care of mine. So step back. Anyway, back again to sports. I got to say this. You know, being in the Negro League Museum last night, hearing some of the stories, some of the trials and tribulations these Negro Leaguers had to go through just to gain some recognition, makes you incredibly proud, knowing what they accomplished, what they endured, but it also makes you pretty pissed off that they had to endure it to begin with because it's so wrong. You got to look at it from that perspective and say to yourself, damn, why we got to do that? Why we got to go through that? We look throughout history, knowing our history and knowing what trials and tribulations we had to endure, you always find yourself wondering when will it stop? I remember they told me last night that the black press were individuals who spoke to owners and beyond imploring them to integrate the sport of baseball. And when they finally did with Jackie Robinson in 1947, the black press wasn't even allowed in the, pre in the press box to chronicle his heroics. Pretty damn shame. Pretty damn shame. But back to what I wanted to get on here about. Outside of that, I watched a lot of football this weekend. Yes, I will be talking about Dak Prescott and the Cowboys tomorrow. I have no choice. As much as it grates my damn nerves, it's, it's a legit story. Got to talk about the Miami Dolphins, too. That might be worth discussing. I'm talking about that. Might even talk about Denver. Might talk about Houston. Might talk about Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts and how they are looking right now. Got to talk about that. Carolina, the New York Giants, and how they got smacked around by the Buffalo Bills. I don't know what's up with that. There's a whole bunch of stuff to get into. Definitely going to do that. Also going to get into Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz and how good that fight was. Got to talk about that. Going to talk about Le'Veon Bell. Going to talk about weed. Going to talk about some stuff going on in the NFL. NFL, Roger Goodell tried to slide it past us. I'm going to address that tomorrow. Some stuff that y'all may not know about. I'll talk about that as well. So it's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm about to get into. Don't doubt it. 
I'm going to touch on it because that's just what I do. You know? <clears throat> and um, it's just necessary. But while I'm doing that, while I'm sitting here talking to y'all right now, I want to take an opportunity to express myself. First of all, all of y'all who are supporters of First Take and my radio show on Sirius XM Mad Dog Sports Radio, I want to say I appreciate the love and I thank you for it. I know a lot of people get at me and, you know, get on me because, you know, whether it's Team USA and I'm talking about Kevin Durant or Carmelo Anthony or Mike Krzyzewski, all three who I'm going to find a way to talk about tomorrow. Make no mistake about that. You got to understand something. You might love me. You might hate me the whole nine. I'm not there to make friends. I really don't want to make enemies, but I'm not there to make friends. I don't work for the NBA. I don't work for the NFL. I don't work for Major League Baseball, UFC, boxing, any other sport. And my obligation is not to them. My obligation is to be fair. Outside of that, my obligation is to you. So I want you to know that when you turn on that TV tomorrow or any other day, or you turn on that radio tomorrow or any other day, see, I want y'all to understand what you're getting. That's one of the reasons I love doing the Periscope and the Facebook and all of that stuff. Now, I've grown to like that because I want you to know that ain't no damn act. Only time I'm acting is when I'm on General Hospital. Or if I end up in a movie or something like that. It's going, you're going to know I'm acting. When you see me on TV, what you see is what you get. I'm not playing. It is what it is. And I'm going to keep doing me. I see a lot of people, a lot of trolls out there. Everybody got something to say. What would you do if you had four live hours of airwaves, airtime, two on the air, on television, two on the air, on radio, every weekday? Four hours you're talking. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to make everybody happy. Because you know why? You can't BS. You got to understand when I'm real and I'm authentic and I come across as a bit harsh, I don't mean to be harsh, I just mean to be real. You know why? Because I trust that y'all can spot a phony a mile away. Is that what you want? You want a phony? Don't watch me. Don't watch me. I'm not that dude. I wasn't raised that way. I'm not built that way. That's not the fabric of who I am. I can't be that guy. I see so many people because they want me to say the politically correct thing. They want me to say, oh, Team USA is playing. I mean, aren't you proud? They're going for the gold. I see the tears. I see the passion. I see all of that. I need to see it when I'm watching the NBA, too. I need to see that joy, that euphoria, and I need to see that agony and those tears. I want it to matter more to them than it does to me. I believe in that. And I back it up every day. You know why? Because when you see me on the air and you look into my eyes and you hear me talk and you listen to me speak, do you see somebody that doesn't care? That's devoid of passion? I'm on the air every day, every weekday, five days a week for four hours a day. And I work most weekends. When have y'all ever seen me lacking passion? I believe that people are supposed to have it with the things that they do and what they bring to the table. That's what I told those kids when I gave that speech Saturday night. If it don't matter to you, why the hell should it matter to anybody else? I want you to understand. And when you look for me, you watch me, understand who I am and what I'm about. I know there's people out there that want to troll me. I know there's people out there that hate me. Number one, no, I give far more love than I do hate, and I love y'all back. And to those who hate me, I'm going to make you love me anyway, because if you don't love me, you're going to love something about me, whether it's my passion, my realness, my facts, my authenticity, something. There's something about me I'm going to make you love. It's the same thing that I'm going to require from anybody I'm covering. I'm bringing the rain. Matter of fact, I think I've actually held back and I've been a little bit too nice, to be honest with you. Because there's a lot more I could say that I don't. Maybe it's time I let it all hang out. 
I'm never fake. I always give you the real. I just don't always give it all to you. Because you got to be judicious in the things that you say. I don't get personal. I'm fair-minded. I ain't trying to get up in people's personal business. But when I watch you perform, I'm judging that performance. And I'm imagining you out there, right here on Facebook or on Twitter or live or when you email me or whatever. I'm imagining you watching me. Thinking that you are going to hold me accountable if I hold back or am phony in any way. And I refuse to be phony. That's me. It's who I am. It's who I'm going to be. So when you tune in to watch First Take, know that about me. Know that I'm coming. Know that I'm not going to stop as long as I'm breathing. Because it's not just my job. It's who I am. If I'm arguing in the house with my family, I'm, a, I'm passionate. If I'm debating somebody somewhere, I'm passionate. If I open my mouth and I decide not to be quiet, hey, it's because I'm passionate. It's just me. I want y'all to accept it. I hope that y'all continue to support me like you've been supporting me. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much. You know, it's a new challenge, new day. First take is important to me. I'm going to strive to succeed at everything that I do. But I'm never going to do just one thing and I'm never going to fail at everything. But win, lose, or draw, I'm going to always give you what I got. And I want y'all to remember that. That's the message I gave to the kids when I gave that speech. It's the message I took from the tour that I got for the Negro League Museum. It's what I was reminded of as I was watching Team USA Today bring home another gold. It's what I'm thinking about when I think about the show that's coming your way tomorrow morning. I want y'all to remember that. Hold on to it. Keep bringing me the love that you've been bringing me. It's much appreciated, y'all. Thank y'all so much. I'm getting ready to go to bed because I got to get my sleep to get up in the morning and be ready to bring it. Nothing but love for all of y'all. I appreciate it. I'll be back on Facebook Live a couple of times this week. And plus, I'm going to do quick hits as well. I might start face comment, face, Facebook Live and y'all in between segments doing commercial breaks while I'm on the show. You never know with me. Always tune in. Stick around. It's your boy, Stephen A. From ESPN. From First Take. From Sirius XM Mad Dog Sports Radio from all over the sports world and beyond. And I say and beyond because I am watching the election unfold. I'm watching. Peace and love, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Get y'all rest as well. God bless each and every one of y'all. Holler at me tomorrow morning, ESPN 2, 10 a.m., first take. Be there. Peace.